and eat. Give me the order. The sooner we shut down this invasion, the better our chances. <laughs> Well, hello. My name's Eddie. Have we met? Anyway, let me tell you a story, kiddo. After the big Colombian boy hit the dust, the public was relieved. But for bad motherfuckers like us, it meant two things. War and opportunity. Everyone from the small fish to the OGs was desperately riding chaos to climb the ladder. And we were aiming high, baby. In this profession, you either go all the way or you die trying. I ain't a big fan of dying, but sometimes, well, someone has to. The job ain't easy, that's for sure. But I ain't the type of guy that deals with easy. And how about you, kiddo? If we're gonna do this, you better have your guard up and your bullet chamber. There's a lot of fun and pleasure on that road, I ain't gonna lie to you. But there's a cost for that, and it's priced in darkness. But hey, we ain't gonna worry about that now, are we? No risk, no fun, as they say. Ain't no bit of darkness gonna stop our dreams, right? Oh, and I have big dreams, kiddo. The question is, how about you? What is a vampire? For 3,000 years, I have asked myself, what should a vampire be? Perhaps I should live in a castle, feared by mortals for all eternity. Perhaps a proper vampire should consort only with the fellow damned. Perhaps, as a vampire, I should slake my carnal desires with wild bacchanals each night, but, well, that I do. But these are all should statements, something I have learned much about as the first vampire therapist. When we say we should do something, where does the should come from? Why should I live in a castle? Is it something I should do for my well-being? or a pressure of vampire society. A should statement is a distortion of reality. And the reality is that I don't need a castle. So I bought a nightclub instead. Watch as my therapist in training cleverly catches me using a should statement. I should speak at least 300 languages, including Java. I do live forever after all. Well, that's one of them should statements, ain't it? Nobody's making you learn Java. Thank goodness for that. But should statements are only one way humans, immortal and not, can engage in distorted thinking. As a therapist to the undead, you'll learn to challenge your clients in many different ways. We are dead. Don't we deserve to rest in peace?
time hidden away to keep it safe that relic is the legendary banana many who seek this powerful banana use its power for evil and only one bunch can stop them <laughs> I still can't believe you went. What are you thinking? Going to that place. Wish you hadn't got yourself into this mess, but you did. You can't run forever. I know you were just trying to do right by me, so I need you to do what's right by us now. Please, Cass. I am so tired of fighting. I just want it to be over. I want you home. The girls want you home, but... If you don't deal with this, then we are done for good. I love you. But I won't wait forever. In this realm, light and darkness stand divided. Two sides of the same coin. We have existed in parallel, a fragile peace. But now, both worlds are under threat. Our choices define us. Am I really worthy to lead? I don't know why this grand old city fell, but if we pull together, we can rebuild it as our safe haven. 
True heroes emerge through triumphs and setbacks. Look who's come begging for mercy. We'll find a way to survive. I can't afford to show any weakness now. Doom is approaching. Chains and silence. We'll write the song of our destiny. And our song will shatter the silence. Welcome to Hunters of the Outer Rim! Thanks for joining us! Coming to you from the arena on beautiful Vespara and only on ORSN! I'm LX1! And I'm Paz Vega! What a show we've got for you tonight! But first, let's revisit the final moments of last night's match! We saw the Gundam versus Mudhorn in an epic game of our event was really looking to settle our score with that. Slingshot the last next Oh, that must have hurt. Reeve really thought she had Kraz where she wanted him. But Zeta left to the rescue of her old friend. The young Sith was defeated. And with that, the Bloodborne took the victory. Looks like the main event is starting, live on ORSN! Let's give a big arena welcome to... The Hunters! On December 24th, 2030, a global blackout occurred. The world lost access to electricity and consequently, the internet and communication. A global conflict followed. Treaties were broken in a matter of hours. Guns, medicine, and food became the new currency. Governments fell, and economic growth ground to a halt as survival and protection became the sole necessities. Struggles for dominance continued for years, as ordinary citizens battled against famine, disease, nature, and each other. But various groups still attempted to salvage what humanity they could, creating enclaves of survivors. We soon discovered that a few of our emergency satellites still worked, and with a bit of tinkering, we were able to connect them for communication. We used this to our advantage, locating other survivors around the world who had discovered the same method. Their suffering was no less terrible than ours, but their spirits were just as strong. Once the conflicts had calmed down, Survivors started returning to the cities to revive a normal lifestyle. This was a mistake. Law had been abandoned. Justice was subjective. Bloodthirsty, merciless gangs ruled the streets and could only be fought with mutual intensity. But we knew we had to fight to restore peace, to restore civilization. We knew we had to venture forth into the nightmarish remains of our past and attempt to stabilize the world. And this is what we did. I'm afraid Tokyo experienced its own peculiar occurrence while you were away. I'll be counting on you to gather more intel on the matter. I suspected to be traveling back and forth between Tokyo and the Netherworld. This place is definitely dangerous. And that's about all we know right now. Look out! Who are you? Now let's kill this thing. And so we have found it. The key to the resurrection. So what? This is where you prove you can fight? Do you think you can just fly in and be a hero? If it wasn't for you, my brother would never have been dragged into this war. You're not alone. If you want revenge, then I'll help you get it. Allow me to remind you how you were wronged by this world.
Thank you.